Recycling refrigerant. Today's little topic. Here's some dirty YF refrigerant I have. I have 30 pounds of YF in there and yes, I have it overfilled because I'm beyond that 70 or 80 percent fill capacity. I know that for a fact. Uh, being in nice cool San Francisco, I really don't have to worry about my uh, blow off valve right here popping off. I'm about to recycle that right now because uh, I feel that I had both my containers and they're both overfilled and uh, I had a really busy day and I just recovered a whole lot of refrigerant in one day more than I was expecting and I was away from any of my shops so I couldn't go grab another cylinder so I just overfilled them not practicing OSHA approved methods there uh, here's my R134 by the color coding that you can see you see even my recovery tanks I color code them I got the white and red indicating the R1234 and I have my knobs even with YF on them and I have it written up there as not to make ever make any mistakes color coded for my clean refrigerant this is just to recovered so let's get up here and start our process we are going to do 134 we have it connected hit start right there start so now it's calibrating and then once it's finished calibrating it's going to ask me to hook up to the connector and then screw in to uh, depress the depressor inside the you can see it inside there will it focus the core depressor on the inside and so I'll hit the core depressor it will release some of my refrigerant that I just recycled and recycled refrigerant should be free of any foreign other gas uh, not mixed with anything and why is my would not focus okay so let's test let's connect the source so let's connect the source no mixture of other gases no moisture no oils no acids no particulate matter of any source and so here's one test and then um, twist it down and that depresses the depressor then hit the test button let's hit test and now we'll wait for this thing while our beard grows here and uh, our grandchildren have grandchildren by the time this test is finished it'd be nice when they make these things faster this is a R1234YF R134A that's its prime choice but you can test R12 and you can test R22 uh, they tell you how in the instructions I have another one just for R12, R22, and other day, and I have another one that also does YF-134 and other gases. Um, so I have three of these different models, and we're coming up on our testing time there. And so the one thing I notice when I go into shops and I test their gas after they recharge the car, they're usually always contaminated with air. And if I bring out my moisture indicator and I put it in line with their refrigerant stream, they're usually only, always high contaminated in moisture because they never change their filters and they're too small. Let's see our results. Results. Pure R12, R134, 100%. Air, 0.0%. There is no reason when you recycle your refrigerant you should not have 0.1%, 0.2%, even if it's allowable up to 2%, no matter what, of another gas or anything. There is absolutely no reason for anybody to have any percentage of the air above 0.0. .0. If you ever test your refrigerant and it has more than even one-tenth of 1%, you're doing something wrong and you got to find out why. And that's one thing I find all the guys with the big machines. They usually have contaminated refrigerant with air in it. And like I say, when I put the moisture indicator in line with their refrigerant line, it's usually always saturated and contaminated with moisture. That's it for today.